Welcome. Okay, so in this case, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to uh, have to do here is now apply my properties of logarithms. So in this case, my property of logarithms, remember, if I have log base b of x plus log base b of y, I can rewrite that as log base b of x times y. So therefore, I can rewrite these two logarithms. I believe they both have, um, they're both common logarithms. That means they both have a base 10. I can rewrite them as the same logarithm, or I can rewrite them as a single logarithm with the product of 2x times x minus 5. So if I write this as log of 2x times x minus 5 equals 2. All right, so now to multiply this out, I'm obviously going to have to just apply distributive property. So I have log of 2x squared minus 10x equals 2. So now to solve from this equation, what I'm going to have to do is, again, rewrite this in exponential form. So remember this base here is 10. So I have 10 squared equals 2x squared minus 10x. So now I have a lot of x's that I need to solve for. Um, and to do that, remember, we can go back to our factoring methods, right, and try to look at that. So what I'll do that is I'll subtract 100, because 10 squared is 100 on both sides. And to solve by factoring, I have 0 equals 2x squared minus 10x minus 100. So now, to solve this, what we have to do is factor out a 2. So 0 equals 2 times x squared minus 5x minus 50. All right, so now what I need to do is determine what two numbers multiply to give me 50, but then that are going to add to give me a negative 5. And I need to be able to determine you know, which of these values are going to work. So uh, <laughs> let's go and take a look. So let's go and write down the factors of negative 50. Well, I could do 50 times 1. I could do 25 times 2. I could do 5 times 10. Ooh, that one looks like it's pretty good, right? So if I factor this out, I can divide out the 2 here. So therefore, 0 equals, uh, let's see here. I'm going to have to do x minus 10 times x plus 5. All right, And we can double check that by applying FOIL. Then using my 0 product property, I can set these both equal to each other. Therefore, x equals 10 and x equals negative 5. Now, a logarithm. The domain is usually restricted uh, to mostly positive values. If you remember, we looked at the graph. It's mostly positive values. So we're going to want to double check our negative value to make sure that um, that's not going to give us an extraneous uh, solution. And if I just plug in negative 5 here, I have log of 2 times negative 10. Right? Well, that's going to be log of negative uh, negative 20. And therefore, that's going to be an extraneous solution because if you look at it, ladies and gentlemen, remember, what does a logarithm come from? If I have log base 3 of 9 equals 2, what that says is 2 or 3 raised to the second power equals 9, right? Well, if I have this log base 10 right, of negative 20, what that's saying is 10 raised to what power equals negative 20? You can't take a positive number, raise it to another number, and get a negative number. So therefore, um, this is going to be an extraneous solution. So our only solution is going to be x equals 10. There you go. Thanks.